Rohan is taking the offensive against Dunland. After the attack on the Westfold, they have decided it is time for a counterattack, and they are sneaking up unawares on a Dunland camp, ready to set their trap and surprise these invaders. What's up guys, I am Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rise of Mordor Battle for you today. And this is a just a 1v1, but it's on large armies. We have Dunland, as I mentioned, against Rohan. And it's going to be... Dunland is uh, basically encamped here. They are unawares. They are all spread out. Unawares. They're all camped ready, sleeping or drunk uh, in their camp. And Rohan is coming to uh, ambush them and basically kill them in their sleeps. And uh, in their drunken, or well, in their drunken sleep. Uh, so they've got plenty of infantry, lots of cavalry. They've got a good mix of uh, elite and levy, along with as have Dunland. But there is a there is a party that's been out looking for supplies that is in the woods here, um, just to mimic that they're like miles away, and they will be coming to the aid of Dunland at some point. Or they'll be coming back anyway, and they'll realise that the camp's under attack, and they'll be coming. But I mean, yeah, Dunland looks freaking awesome. Um, I mean, look at these guys. They look amazing. As like an ambush just happens, I heard. It's an ambush, apparently. Oh, yes, here we go. So the first assault is about, about to happen. And these are, are going to be the first Dunland troops that are going to be going in. These are, uh, I think these are Bloodsworn, yeah. And we have some Elder Spears. So we've got like the cheapest swords and some pretty good spears. And there we go. It's going to be Rohan Mustard Men in first. Oh my gosh, what a volley. And uh, yeah, so there's some archers up here that were on fire at will, so I think I'm going to turn them off in a moment. Just to mimic like that the archers are still getting to the walls. That was a pretty nasty volume, that's going to do some nasty damage. Yes, these Blood Sworn now are the first ones in, and the panic throughout the camp is going to begin. I mean, they do actually look pretty cool. We don't actually see Dunland often on the channel, so it will be nice to see them for once and this is using the Rohan sub mod again so because Rohan still doesn't have a proper roster with Rise of Mordor and here we have cavalry over here already set up and ready to come in are these guys going to do a rear charge no these so we have Oswald and Lancers here these guys are really good they're very nice and elite okay he looks like he's going to charge on into these guys these are Dunherd swords these are my most elite swords that we have they're falling back and then they're going to do a charge here Oh, it's not a bad charge from either side, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how many of these guys actually died. Three. Uh, that's actually pretty concerning for the cavalry. These are my most elite swords. These aren't my main infantry. I don't have many of them, so I do need to preserve them. They are cutting down some most sworn lancers as they pull out. What have we got over here? We have more blood sworn. These guys are just going to get chopped down by all this cavalry. I can already tell. I'd do a rear charge if I had those old sworn lance, I'd route these guys immediately. The Rohan does look awesome. I always enjoy coming back to the sub mod, they do look amazing. Even if I think they're a little bit weaker than the most Rise of Mordor units, uh, a Rohan, but that's just, I think, just the sub mod. Uh, but not quite balanced, but I mean, they do look awesome. They seem to be gradually pushing forward. Are these guys wavering yet? No, they're shaking. But not stirred. And um, the guys on the hills now are also mobilizing. They're here in the chaos. And here we go. We've got some Dunherd archers getting ready into position. They do look awesome. Look at them with their bones on their chest. Look awesome. So, yes, yeah, since we, uh, there was a big request for Rise Mordor to come back, there was uh, someone in the comments that was uh, uh, demanding more Rise of Mordor almost. Uh, if I haven't already, I'm sure I'll put a picture up of a. Uh, uh, the comment, and um, yeah, they, so I was like, well, if people are wanting Rise of Mordor again, I'll uh, I'll provide. And since uh, the Last Alliance uh, Last Alliance mod did so well the other day, I I think you guys deserve some more Lord of the Rings. So, I mean, the Dunherd infantry here are fighting a uh, Riddermark Axemen. They'll probably do okay with those Riddermark Axemen. Um, archers here, this is a really good angle. Look at this, just into the back of all of these uh, dismounted Royal Guard and... I'm not actually sure what this unit is. Eastmark Heavy Riders. Okay. That's the problem with Rohan. All their infantry looks very similar. And what do we have holding them up? Dunherd Swords. Okay. Oh, but they're going to try and do a flank here. They're going to charge into some Elder Spears. But Rohan's got plenty of stuff left. They've got more infantry over here. Lots of cavalry, which, I mean, they're going to just storm through because we've got to hold the camp out here as well. That's the whole aim of uh, 
Dunland, hold the camp out here before, as long as possible before we have to fall back. Because try and make it as balanced as possible because it is supposed to be a lightning raid. Over here, it looks like the Rohan Mustard uh, axes aren't doing so well. These blood, uh, these blood sworn are holding them back. Archers now firing into their ranks, but they're cheering because uh, they have broken through. Does look, have they actually broken something then? Oh, they did break those blood sworn. So it's just these elder spears holding them back. So if I was them, I'd start flanking. Uh, we've got some. What are these? Some Dunherd chosen. Oh, these guys are awesome. Look at their like axes. This guy here has a double axe. He might be the officer, but like, look at that guy. I would not want to face him on the battlefield. But I mean, over here it looks like Dunhurst. Oh, actually, the Dunhurst swords are going to beat the axes. Okay, I guess they are medium against heavy. That makes sense. And what we've got here, more Dunhurst swords joining the fight here. That's interesting. Looks like most of my elite swords are actually going to get committed early on. They don't even actually have swords. Like, if we look at this, that's not a sword. That's like a. That's like a. I don't know what you call that. That's. Like a hook. But they also have, like, loads of Isengard, like, uh, weaponry. They have, well, equipment. They have, like, the shields here. They look really cool. They're basically, like, get given what's, the, like, the scraps of what Isengard does need. So, like, some extra shields. Um, I think over here, like, some of their Berserker units have got, like, actual, like, armor. Yeah, they've actually got proper Isengard armor. Let's, let's see if we can get an angle. Okay, these ones are actually probably easy to get an angle. Look at this. Look at these guys. They've just got... That's Isengard armor, just straight up. I mean, it looks awesome, but it's kind of just funny. Like, yep, yeah, we just don't need this equipment. We're just going to give it to you. They are chopping away at these Dunherd swords here. We're sort of fighting on the flank. I think I just... I must have been microing elsewhere. Uh, these Rindamark axes are just getting focused down, though, by archers. Oof. I don't actually know by where, though. Oh, we have horse archers that have appeared, and they're just shooting these Dunherd uh, swords. To, I mean, to, in fairness, I was like, I'm just going to hold the choke point. They're not doing much damage. They've killed like three guys, and they're—I mean—they've not used much ammo yet. But I'm just thinking they'll use all their ammo up on this one unit. That's fine. But I mean, they do look awesome. Look at these guys. One of the few factions I think in Rise Mortar that has horse archers. I mean, the elves have them, but I mean, if you actually put these guys in um, and wanted to play as them, these guys would have a would be one of the few that have horse archers. I mean, over here actually, these axes are nearly broken through. That's a concern. Um, I mean, not a concern. Well, they've nearly broken through, but they're also nearly all gone, I just realised. 40, uh, 5, and 18. Yeah, they're, they're not going to get through this unit of 71. Oh, we have some... Uh, oh, yes. Very nice. We have some Dunherd Chosen in here already. They're just cutting these guys down. Look at that guy there. He's like, oh. So many wolves had to die for these guys' uniform, though. And there you go, they're wavering. That's basically Rohan's first assault gone. I mean, balance power is still fairly even. They have a small army, but it's so much more elite than uh, Dunlan. So it's going to be a close. Over here, we have dismounted Royal Guard. They might break... I mean, they're actually losing to this uh, Dunherd Swordsman, which is surprising. But um, they should really break through. I mean, over here, they're also having just as much hard work against Elder Spears, who have yet to lose a man. Jeez. Oh, there you go. They lost the man. Uh, <laughs> I think that was, that was from Friendly Fire as well. That was definitely that watchtower over there. Excuse me. It does look like uh, the cavalry is coming back. Oathman Lancers coming back. Oh, we just got to keep aware that this cavalry over here is ready. And we also have a uh, skirmish cav here, actually. So they, there is some other skirmish cav, but these aren't. These are just like missile cav. So they don't count. There's, Rohan's still one of the few that has uh, horse archers. Um, my unit, I decided to pull back in the end. I was like, well, I can just defend this uh, one breach up here. And they are focusing down my uh, Dunherd Chosen and Dunherd Swords. Which is uh, not a bad target, to be honest. But the men are broken. I'm running for their lives. And what, what's Oh, what is breaking? Okay, so they broke some tribal warriors. That's not the end of the world. That's a very small levy unit. I'm not too worried about losing them. I mean, this is concerning. That was a good charge by the cavalry, and they just decimated this Dunherd Swords. Though we are taking quite a few cavalrymen with us. There's quite a few uh, riderless horses now, and dead horses. Where is that unit going, though? This is going to be a good charge, and I'm going to miss it. That was a pretty nice charge. 
Rudimark Lance is went in there against more tribal uh, uh, warriors and they, these guys, look at these. These are the worst of the worst actually. This is my worst unit I can bring. Um, I think Oathsworn are just one above. But yeah, these guys are pretty awful. Literally just holding a cleaver and a shield. Look at these boys though, cutting them down, all bloodied up. There you go, they run off those Rudimark Lancers, they're going to come for another charge I think. Yeah, these are my worst axe units, so actually they're not my worst sword unit. Which is still the Bloodsworn then. I mean, I don't think we actually have any Bloodsworn left though. Um, we're now having a bit of an issue over here. The new units of a uh, dismounted Rohan Oathsworn over here, which is like a mid-tier sword unit. So it's the best stuff that this uh, side's seen yet. Uh, he's beaten the, beaten the Elder Spearmen, which look goddamn awesome as well. I mean, these are my best spears, I think. I don't think there are actually any good spears for Dunland, but these are my best spears. Don't know what their shield is. It looks like a cork almost. But um, we've also got some Dunherd chosen ready. It was sort of stood in combat, but they're really not. I mean, look at this angle that they've got. That's just an amazing angle. Can we get a good view? That's sort of a good view. Look at these boys. Loose! Excellent. Kill those men. I mean, and what's left over here? We've got cavalry. We've got general. Got more cavalry appearing over here now, though. This is concerned. We've got Riddermark Lances, Border Scouts, uh, uh, quite a lot of Border Scouts. This is not the end of the world, but we've got Riddermark heavy uh, cavalry as well. Uh, we've got archers starting to fall back, which is not a good sign. Um, a charge here from the horse archers. They are actually breaking this Dunherd Chosen. Um, not doing so well against this Dunherd Swords, though. Which are cutting them down brutally. So, I mean, the. The ambush is starting to turn into a bit more of a uh, pitch battle now, and uh, because Dunland is very much aware of what's going on. They really need to send in more cavalry and start doing some hammer and anvils on some of my units. They want to have a chance of winning this. Like, over here, if you hammer and anvil, I mean, you can't really, but like, this unit here, for instance, should have hammer and anvil all this. Doing a lot more damage. I'll take out this arch unit, because this one's doing some nasty work. Elder archers. These guys are pretty good. Oh, they got, they've got an okay angle. Firing all the way over there. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad angle. They're just firing directly into the back of these uh, Rinnemark Lancers. Which are not having much fun. These are Dunherd uh, Archers. These guys are actually not that bad. That's a good volley. Oh, that poor Lancer there getting chopped down. Good volley, and there's just, they're dropping like flies now, these lancers. Yeah, like every volley, just a couple more lancers fall down, like, because they're just getting shot in the rear. And they're like in combat now, then lancers in combat, like, the prolonged melee is not a good sign. Even if they are getting out their cool axes. Here we go, another little volley. Yeah, not as good, that volley. Not as organized, but we have got stuff fleeing by the looks of it. Lots of stuff over here that's breaking. Uh, this Oathman Lancer here is not doing so well. Okay, they broke us over here, I think. Uh, we've got lots of uh, dismounted Royal Guards still fighting out here. But we are starting to run low on stuff. Lots. Of, okay. I don't know why Rohan has not just sent troops around. You could just flank these units. They just don't need to carry on in. Here he goes. Here he goes. Speak of the devil, and he goes and does it. Here we go. Lots of flanking going on here. We've got mustard axes. We've got uh, Rohan mustard men, which are like levy unit. They actually kind of look like bandits, to be honest. But these are the cheap stuff that Rohan's been able to muster since the Westmark fell. But yeah, he needs to regain even more, surround these guys even more. Because this is okay. This is an okay flank, but. These guys are uh, still going to hold a little longer. I mean, we've got Dunherd Chosen still in here as well. If you surround these guys properly, then they'll die a lot quicker. And if you can get the cavalry, and he can get cavalry inside, and he can start running down um, my infantry. I mean, I've not got much left in here. I've not got any archers. These archers run out of ammo. 
I should have got these archers here. I kind of left them just to hold the, uh, I don't know, hold the ground here. We've got, actually, all my archers have done herd archers. I didn't even realise. Oh, no, I haven't. I've got elder archers all the way over there. But that doesn't matter. Does not matter. And now here we go. L look at this. This is going to be a concern. All of this border scout stuff. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem here. I've got a lot of my units now blocking this gap. I'm kind of just going to see what happens. This should be a nasty charge. I'm kind of just holding the ground. I'm just, I think I'm about to just, yeah, charge forward, give a bit of a counter charge. Oh, we're walking forward. A bit sleepy still, apparently, these men. And there you go. What a charge. Still sleepy and drunk, apparently, these Dunherd barbarians. They're getting absolutely cut down. And, uh, yeah, that's not a good sign. These two units are definitely going. That, that unit's uh, losing decisively. And there we go. These men are giving up and running for their lives. And that is a great charge by Rohan. He needs to do a couple more of them. But it's just massive cavalry. It's a good way that cavalry, uh, for Rohan to win battles. Mass cavalry charges. Kill these men. They are going to slowly, I mean, I'm going to say slowly cut these guys down. They actually might, because uh, they're still losing decisively, these Dunherd swords. They are now, they could actually just try and encircle these guys, do a rear charge with the unit. That would do a lot of damage. Probably break them. And we've got some archers out here. I guess they're just waiting. I kind of think I just left them here. There's like one unit of Ridamark Lancers of 11 men. They're not going to do anything. But we've kind of won on this hill over here, on this encampment. This one here, um, I'm not really sh well, not really sure who's won. We've like lost everything in holding it. Um, but yeah, this Dunherd Swords is, is looking okay. It's uh, 95 men left. It's still pretty strong. I mean, they've got all this cavalry though still, and there's a lot of nasty cavalry in here. Ridmark Lancers, Ruin Border Scouts. But and the more concerning thing is that there's all this cavalry here that's still yet to appear. So Rohan needs to really take this stuff out and he's going to be ready. He doesn't actually know where the cavalry is, but uh, it's it's close, put it like that. And here we go. We've got archers ready. I think I'm sending these archers around so they can get slag in some ridge uh, shots on these uh, dismounted royal guard because they're not dying quick enough for my liking. Um, but yeah, there's another charge here by uh, Rohan into these uh, infantry. Same old, same old. And I think this time they might break. These are done heard. One charge is something, but a second charge from all this cavalry, that's something else. Yeah, down to 60. I'd just stay in here. You'll break this unit done heard quite nicely. And here they go. They're going to pull out again by the looks of it. Go for one final charge. And they capture this tower. That's good of them. So there's no real need to hold here anymore because that's what the reason I was holding here is just because of that tower. I can still use it. Oh god, that small unit of Elder Spears. But there we go, 56 left. And how many of them would survive a, a third charge though? That's the real question. We have caught this border scout unit. We can, uh, this is still s salvageable. If we can kill one of these units, that works. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting to see when the cavalry is going to appear. It's not not yet, though. Over here, they're making some progress. Um, is Rohan. He's still battering through. He's still got quite a lot of men left. He's uh, got Dunher Chosen now that are about to... Uh, well, my Ch Dunher Chosen need to go in, really. They're a bit bloodied up. We're just kind of having a big old standoff. Uh, men have rallied. Oh, okay, I didn't even see this. I Like, I didn't see it in the battle. Um, but yes, yeah, so... the. Lancers are just charging into the, all my cavalry here. Oh, not into all my cavalry, all my archers here. And uh, this isn't going to end well. Even if they are Dunherd archers, they're not going to like appreciate this. Like, look at that unit. It's already gone. These poor men. Elder archers here, just executed. Like, Elder archers are not bad either. Like, I'm Dunherd archers, I think, are my best. But, like, Elder archers are, don't do too bad either. And here we go. Into the uh, Dunherd themselves. Oh, they actually have proper Urukai swords as their secondary. That's cool. Oh, as he gets knocked down. Oh, 
Oh, a nice rear charge. That's gonna that's gonna do that's gonna do the trick. Oh, they must have broken through. I didn't even realize. Okay, so these units over here broke through that Dunherd unit. Um, oh, and here we go. The cavalry's arrived. The cavalry for Dunland has arrived. And uh, this is going to be a concern. The units that you need to look out for are these ones, the Champion Reavers. These guys are nasty. They basically are just Urukai on horses. Uh, well, they're men with Urukai armor on. They're not actually Urukai. But they are pretty nasty. There's a lot of... Uh, Skirmish cavern here as well. There's just all sorts in here. What else is it? And we've got Champion Reavers. We've got Dunherd Marauders. These guys are pretty nasty as well. Look at them. They've got axes. They look awesome. But they have broken those uh, few units of mounted uh, shield archers very nicely. These guys are... Well, they're out of ammo anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Although most of them are out of ammo. Rohan's just sending in what units he has to try and hold these guys in place. But, I mean, they're so depleted that it's not going to do much. And they're just scouts against uh, Marauders and Champion Reavers. They're not going to do much. Oh, a great charge. And here we go. Setting off uh, another cavalry contingent. Mainly my horse, uh, my skirmish cab, sorry. I'm just going to deal with this lot. I'm just going to try and hold it in place. Try and let my cavalry uh, over there get a quick victory. And this is going to... Uh, this is going to end... Pretty poorly. I sent these guys in basically to die. This is missile cav going up against very heavy Rohan cav. It's uh, just kind of hold it in place and we'll see what happens. Probably a massacre is going to happen. I mean, look at this. Look at the amount of blobbed up cavalry. If you had one unit of archers in here, this would be a field day. Which is a thing Rohan never brought. Rohan never brought any foot archers, which is uh, not the worst decision. He's trying to go for a highly mobile force, and archers are a bit slow, and they lag behind. But, I mean, these Dunher Chosen over here, they are doing work. Um, if you look at the forces left, they are wavering one, and they, they're holding off against all the rest, and they're winning. Um, the archers still haven't been moved over to give them support, so, I mean, these, yeah, these Dunher Chosen don't need any help. cutting them down. Look at them with their double-bladed uh, axes. Like, well, battle axes double-handed, is it? I think that's what it, it's a double-bladed. But they are using a double-handed anyway. You need to with an axe that size. Oh, excellent kill there. More Rohan troops coming back in, but they're all tired and pretty weak anyway. I mean, and also they're just mustard axes at this point. Setting in the weak boys just to go in there. Uh, look at them. They're scared. They're shaking in their boots. Shaking in their boots. I won't want to go back in there now, but they're being sent in. Oh, no. They're going to break. They're, just like that, they're shaking in their boots. Look at these Dunho Chosen. They've got the silver chevron. I didn't even, like, give them that many chevrons, if any. And they've managed to get that high. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Look at this, though. This is a concern. All my cavalry is losing deci decisively. They are tribal raiders, in fairness. And here we go. A rear charge is going to do something here. Look at this. I've, there's only one place this cavalry unit's come in. Let's just watch. The, let's watch the charge. Here they come. I mean, you could just hear the hoof beats in the background, couldn't you, if you were a Dunlund cavalryman. And here we go. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Wasn't the greatest charge, actually. I mean, cavalry into cavalry is never a satisfying charge as cavalry into infantry. You don't see cavalrymen go flying like infantry. But, um, yeah, it's done a lot of damage. Lot three of the four units are now wavering. Um, which is, well, now two. But encircling these guys, yeah, there you go. They, these guys aren't going to last long. Hopefully we killed enough of these guys, though, because they are lancers, but who knows. And now we have just the cavalry set up ready here to uh, basically hold the ground. What's this unit doing? Is it actually going to try and get in here? Oh, they all just threw their javelins at the back of them. <laughs> Poor guys. Mounted shield archers just killed. But yes, it does look like uh, Rohan is going to lose today. I mean, there's not much left. We now double them in numbers. 
And we have fresh units yet to go in. And we have archers. So their assault, their counter assault uh, to retake some of the Westfold is not going to happen. That was a really nice kill there by that Rohan soldier though. Let's, let's watch him, see if we can get another. Get another, oh no, he's dead. But yeah, I just thought this was a cool little scenario battle. Thought I'd show this off. Oh, very nice kill. Poor, poor Dunland, man. He's just like, oh, I was nearly made it through the battle. Yeah, these uh, these mustard axes are now getting cut down, or mustard men are getting cut down. Well, yeah, most of them wavering and go gone. This unit might return 47. They're mostly done. They are done in. And it's just now the Rohan bodyguard all the way back here. Is he going to actually move forward? Is he gonna re has he remembered his generals here? Who knows? It looks like it's going to come down to the cavalry fight. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. And I'm going to just get the cavalry ready. Let him set up his cavalry. Because I think there's going to be a big old cavalry uh, fight here. Which is going to be excellent. The enemy has obliterated an entire unit. I kind of want uh, Rohan to win the cavalry fight because they have the best cav in the game, in like the, this universe. But these guys do look awesome. And there we go. Look at these guys. Yes. Excellent. What a charge, clash of cavalry, oh. Was not bad, it was not bad. I mean, I think Rohan's cavalry is a bit more beaten up and a bit more bloody, but they have the better cav. Um, well, most of the better cav because, uh, well, yeah, there's horse archers in all missile cav here, so they can break through straight away and start surrounding some of these units. But my uh, champion reavers are actually winning the fight. The champion reavers uh, are pretty nasty, apparently. Here we go. I mean, this is brutal. It's going to be a rear charge, I think, in a moment. Interesting to see where he goes. Okay, no, he's breaking this final unit again, making sure it actually leaves the battle. But I really need to send it in, get a rear charge going on, get a rear charge in here. I'm sending in my uh, missile cav, get them back in. Thicken the line of cavalry. Oh. Rohan's having a bit more luck on this side because he's fighting Marauders. These guys aren't as great. Looks like he's uh, done a rear charge into here. That's not actually even affected them. They don't even care. Look at this. Ro uh, these are Royal Edoran Lancers or something like that. And they're still not actually being able to kill any of these Champion Reavers. Or they killed barely any. Yeah, not even kill one. Wow. These guys are powerful. <laughs> Jeez, um, that's nasty. He's still not moved his general forward. What is he doing? What is he doing? But anyway, the cavalry fight. Uh, looks like Rohan is going to lose it. Rudimark Lancer starts on a wave. It also, I mean, you can see there, look, winning decisively. Lo this unit is actually losing, though. These ones are losing. So I think the Marauders, in, like, if they stayed in there longer, would actually lose. Uh, the Royal Edder and Lancers are going to pull out. They've only lost, lost one unit themselves, bear in mind. So, I mean, they might actually do okay against champion reavers and they outnumber them in like amount of men here we go there are decent charges to bat into the back I mean it's pretty slow these guys are exhausted yeah I mean yeah exhausted they're just not gonna have the uh, like the effect that they do before but it does look like with no cavalry left, he's not going to be able to, uh, with no infantry left, sorry, he's not going to be able to assault that hill and take it. So it does look like Dunland will hold uh, the hill and their camp, but it will be a huge blow to any sort of uh, campaign that they, if they were to carry on raiding the West Mark.
And here we go. It does look like... Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. Already champion Reavers over here now. These uh, Rohan and Calvary are just going to break and waver. And that that's going to be, yeah, look. They're all wavering over here now. Champion Reavers is just nasty. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Um, it's not quite over, but I'll just say if you in if you have enjoyed it too, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Um, I always appreciate all the support. And uh, if you want to join the Discord and get involved in some of these battles, then the link is down below. It is definitely well worth joining. You can come and have a chat with me and some of the other Legionnaires that get involved in often in most of these battles. And be a part of the channel and uh, send in some replays or uh, or just. Uh, well, take part in some battles. That's just all I can say. There's not much else to say about it. It's all that goes on, and then some aw and some awful memes get put in there. And we all have a good old, a good old chat about I don't know history. No, we don't even talk. If we actually talk about history, that would be amazing. But, I mean, look at this. Royal Edwin Lance is breaking at 51 or wavering at 51. That is a huge wave. I mean, and they're at silver, two silver chevrons. And they're wavering. They've just given up. They've given up the ghost. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it looks like uh, Rohan's general is finally going to move forward. I'm not quite sure what happened to this Dunher Chosen unit. It got all the way out here for some reason. I just kind of left it. I must have just... They must have been chasing someone down and then gave up. But uh, I think this Rohirrim bodyguard is going to probably mop them up in a moment. Though they're silent. Look at that. They were silent there. They're, there you go. The sounds come back for some reason. But yeah, there you go. All this cavalry is about to break. And there we go. It's, that's basically... Yeah, so it looks like uh, Dunhurst going to win the cavalry fight. And it's just going to come down to the general. So I'm going to just... Well, I guess we'll watch this charge here. But I mean, I'm going to fast forward it in a moment. Just get it over and done with. Because there's very little left. Where's the Dunhurst gone? Here they are. Look at them. Not, I clearly was just too interested in what was going on in the cavalry fight to realise what was going to happen to these poor 37 men. But uh, we'll just fast forward a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I mean, I wouldn't... I. It's also in fast forward, so they can just... Yeah, witnesses. These poor guys. They fought so hard. These guys like literally routed about four or five units of Rohan, and they're just getting cut down by the general. Poor men. Poor, poor men. I'll also leave a link to the uh, Rohan submod in the description if you want to go and check it out as well. Um, it is just on the workshop. It's pretty easy to install. It's a really good mod. Um, you all obviously need Rise of Mordor if you don't have Rise of Mordor. Um, that's on mod DB. Just give that a simple Google and you'll be fine there. But here we go. So the Rohan Generals, he's going to finally charge in. I'm sending out... What am I sending out now? I'm sending out some Blood Avengers, uh, which is the guys like fully covered in Ro uh, Urukai armor. We've got some archers and some swords going out. We've got a real, real bizarre um, sort of troops going out. Then let's just put it in normal mode for a moment. Yes, good charge. Final charge of the battle. Oh, that's a brutal charge. So many men get knocked over. It just, it's so satisfying to see infantry get flattened by cavalry. But I mean, these, yeah, these guys are just going to die pretty quick. I'm going to send in the uh, archers now. They're out of ammo. They did well. They can uh, just kill some more men. Let's just uh, fast forward it. These poor guys, they're not really going to do much. I think the cavalry's going to try and pull out. There you go. Both sides pulled out. I think they're going to go for one more charge. At this point, we're just like, yeah, let's have an epic cavalry charge at the end. Let's see what happens. See if you can, how many of these units you can kill. That's not a bad charge, but that's, like, you can see here, like, this unit's now, this part of the unit's isolated, and these guys are isolated. And, uh, yeah, they're going to get chopped down by Blood Avengers. I didn't realize my general was in here. Oh, he is. I did send my general in. He's a Blood Avenger unit. Okay. We have lots of Blood Avengers in here. Yeah, these guys, I mean, Dun Dunlun now, I realize, is actually quite a fun faction to play. Um, obviously, this is going up against a mainly cavalry army, and I was basically just defending, so it was kind of... Uh, the scenario kind of worked how I liked it, but yeah, I mean, Dunland is pretty fun to play as. They've got some pretty good infantry against a uh, like a mid-tier, like a... I don't know, some of the other factions they could definitely take on. 
But anyway, we'll look at the end results quickly. Um, so, I mean, yeah, quite a lot of my units are quite well. Um, I've got, like, Dunherd Chosen here getting 218. Um, I done, um, I done had swords, didn't do actually that great, but I kind of just threw them around and didn't really care what they did. Um, my blood swan did awful, which is no surprise, they are the rubbish stuff. Um, spears here getting 108, not bad. Oh, 348 for that Dunherd Chosen unit, that is very good. Um, cavalry didn't do, oh, well, missile cav didn't do that great. Um, my marauders and reavers did very well, getting like 80 odd kills each. Archers getting 246, that's very good for them. Um, Rohan, on the other hand, did pretty well with his Cav, obviously, getting 189 kills here with his Royal Edder and Lancers, uh, to 128 with his Shield Arch, which is very good, actually, for Horse Arch unit, 136 with Ridmark Lancers, and 146 with his Eastmark Heavy Riders. His Infantry didn't do so well, I mean, this one, uh, his Dismounted Royal Guard here got 185, but most of the others didn't really get even near to 100. This one here got 85, and this one got over 100. But I mean, yes, didn't do great as infantry. But anyway, I'd just like to thank Dodgy God for taking part in that and uh, getting involved in the battle. It was a very, very fun one in the end. It was a Peric victory, certainly. I mean, I had lost loads of my army. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed and want to see more Rise of Mordor, then please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment if the is there any scenarios you want me to try and reproduce that I haven't already on the channel? And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys.